All right, to start off this tutorial, you will need a memory stick. Um, I have a Lexar 32 gig. That means it has to be an official um, card, like no third party card, but um, it, you know, it just has to be Magic Gate card. And what I mean by this is you can check if your card is legitimate by pressing triangle on the memory stick and going down to information. As you see right there, Magic Gate supported. Okay, now um, before we actually hook this into the computer, we're going to go down into System Settings and Format Memory Stick. Now, before we do this, anything on the memory stick that you do not want to lose, such as game saves or music, pictures, anything like that, save it to your computer first and then do this, alright? So you won't lose them because this wipes out your memory card, like wipes everything off of it. So go to four memory stick, hit yes twice. Okay, now hook your PSP up into USB mode. Okay, once you have your PSP hooked up, download these two files. I will put them in a um, WinZip file so you can just download them and extract them. Well, anyways, once you have your PSP hooked up, just go ahead and double click PSP Grader. And if you have Windows Vista or Windows 7, just click Run. Um, if you have Windows Vista, you might want to click Run as Administrator because sometimes on some versions of Vista, this won't let you inject the IPO. All right, so once you extract both of these to here. Um, it shouldn't ask you this because it's in the same um, directory. And um, right here, select trigger button. Um, you can choose what um, button triggers off the um, magic memory stick files in, in recovery mode. So I'll show you this later, but for me, I'm just going to choose the. Let's see. I'll choose up. Okay, now you're going to want to um, click on Clean Pandora Stick, click Yes, and close that. Now click on Create Pandora Stick, and this will take about three minutes or so, so I'll come back. Once you're finished, you should get a menu like this. Just close. Once that closes out, just um, hit Inject IPL only. And it says IPO injected successfully. Now um, you can close out of this program. And to make this magic memory stick work, you do need a Pandora battery. I suggest you buy one from here. You can also make your own, but it's really risky. There's only two ways to make a Pandora battery, or actually three, but you know the third method involves you actually purchasing another thing, which you might as well purchase a battery. Well, um, first method is opening up your battery and removing a chip. And once you do that, it is rendered unusable as a regular battery. And thus, you will have to buy a second battery, so you might as well buy this one. Second way is, actually, you can you do a software mod from your PSP, which converts it to Pandora mode. Then you can convert it back later, but the thing about that is, you have to have a PSP that is already hacked and is not a 3000. So, um... The third method is, you can buy a tool that costs like $20, you stick your battery in there, press a button, and it switches from normal to Pandora mode. But again, that involves you buying something, and it costs 20 the battery itself costs 5 just get the battery. Alright, so um, now let's head over to the PSP. Okay, to test out your battery, I mean your memory stick, exit out of USB mode. And go ahead and pull this out. Now your memory stick is already in here. Alright. Let me just go ahead and take it out. Say you get a PSP. Okay. You want to hack it and everything. This is how you would do it. Flick off the switch. The power I mean. Take out your own. Um, regular battery. So take out your regular battery. 
and um take out your memory stick which I already did and then you would insert your magic memory stick insert that thing in there and then you get your Pandora's battery this is the same one off the site I just showed you I bought mine for like six dollars and fifty cents I think but that was a while ago and they have since then way reduced the price to like five dollars as I just showed you okay the next step is you're going to place your battery in don't push it in though um, remember the button I told you that there was a trigger button and we I selected up for mine just um hold down up hold down up and insert the battery and you should see the light pop on and you see the LED flashing okay then you get the custom firmware installation menu and this has how you know you, it works this PSP the 2000 so of course you know it's hackable T85 version 2 motherboard in it so it's all good and um, that is my tutorial for the magic memory stick now again if your magic memory stick did not create properly and you put the Pandora battery in and all you get is a black light um, that means you're either not holding the proper button or um, you did not make your, ba um, your memory stick right because the Pandora battery all it does without this is just turn on the PSP like let me show you if you were to take this out and just stick in your battery that's all it does it's not going anywhere as you see that's all it's supposed to do just the battery but this is what triggers the custom firmware installation well, I felt like I've ran this video on long enough, so thank you for watching my video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff, and I will see you in the next one.